Well, hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to your three card pick for the solar eclipse. This occurs on the 25th of October, and it's an event where the new moon will obscure up to a maximum of 85% of the sun. It can be seen all around the world, and it's quite a spectacular event. But what does it mean spiritually for us all? Well, eclipses are harbingers of change. They usher in opportunities to evolve, and this can be a very sensitive time where we reflect on paths that led nowhere and relationships that offered opportunities for growth to ground ourselves and empower ourselves in reality. Spiritually, solar eclipses tend to be more exciting as we embark on new vibrant paths of change to pursue new horizons. We direct our energy towards maintaining healthy boundaries, which in turn trigger better opportunities for growth and attract more abundance. Eclipses also highlight areas where we feel out of alignment and give us a chance to reinvent ourselves and our day-to-day -to, -day to bring more fulfillment and supercharge our energy with vibrancy. Eclipse cycles also bring major revelations and offer an opportunity to forge forward on the right path. Okay, so really focus on the moon, the sun, and the star, and whichever one you are drawn to, that is the pile for you. All the timestamps are in the comments box below. I'll give you a moment to really focus and use your intuition, and I'll see you on the other side. Well, hello, Pile One. If you chose the moon, this is the message for you. First off, you are one tough cookie. You have come to this lifetime with a lot of inner strength. You have been given a very difficult path and you are thriving despite the obstacles that have come your way. You may have been a very old soul in a very young body, but as I can see, you've been going through some difficult times and you may be asking the universe during this solar eclipse, why does it have to be so difficult? Why have you always had to struggle to get to where you want to go? Well, the reason they've given you this path is because you were strong enough to take it, okay? The Mars indicates that you have a lot of fire. You are a force to be reckoned with. And you came to this lifetime with a lot of passion, a lot of inner drive, and you'll be using that sort of tenacious nature to get to where you want to go and move past any obstacles, okay? The Mars card indicates that, you know, you may always have had to fight for things. Um, you always have to check in with yourself and make sure you re-examine priorities to make sure it's worth your time and your effort. And you've been given a lot of inner strength to accomplish whatever it is you set out to do, okay? Uh, this card indicates that you have had it hard and you've had to fight for where you're at right now and you are going to see a cycle of change that becomes easier for you as you move throughout this solar eclipse. So you may be able to breathe a breath of fresh air for a little while because there's definitely some respite in always having to fight for everything. Not everything has to be hard won, okay? But this card indicates you're going to embody a lot of power and a lot of passion over over the uh, solar eclipse and of course the rest of the eclipses for the rest of the year you will embody that energy of change okay you're being challenged to protect your interests move ahead quickly on something or any ideas that come to you and use your passion and drive to accomplish great things okay you may have been going through a difficult cycle where you may have thought you were going through like dark night of the soul cycle or where you felt like things have not been working in your favor you may have even experienced moments of depression or feeling really low energy over the, net, the, the last four to five months, um, that is going to change for you. There is a light at the end of the tunnel, okay? Now, this is number five, as you can see in the card. Five is the number of challenge, of change, of having to brainstorm your way out of difficult situations, okay? But this is a card that uh, sees you gathering momentum, sees you achieving your goals and your dreams, and you're being asked to sort of protect your own interests, not give up on dreams or goals, and you're being pushed in the right direction. The universe is actually using that energy to be pushed in the right direction. <clears throat> excuse me, I do apologize. I've been a little bit unwell. So uh, excuse me if my voice sort of uh, gets lost occasionally. Uh, but we do have a Mars retrograde at the end of the month, but you will not 
feel the uh, influence of that, you will forge a way through. You're actually going to be a force to be reckoned with and you're going to get clear on your goals and your dreams and you're going to push forward and accomplish those things. Where everyone else will be struggling, um, you actually come into your own during this Mars retrograde, okay? Also, this card indicates you have a very fiery nature and that you are not someone that people can walk all over. Uh, sometimes people may have mistaken your kindness for weakness, but you can show them that actually, no, you're empowering yourself, you're setting healthy boundaries, and people do not get to take advantage of your kind nature, okay? Um, you are strong enough to take the challenges of life. But as I said, you may have been wondering, when do you get the easy ride? When do you get the luck? When is it going to change for the better for you? Well, the answer is this solar eclipse is going to bring a lot of change for you in a positive direction. Things become easier for you, okay? This may, be, may have been a time where you felt that you were not driven or you didn't have motivation, or you lack the energy or the ideas, but you're going to forge through that energy and actually there's going to be a lot of positive changes and shifts in the right direction, okay? Um, also, you have this wonderful card here. Um, it says there, uh, number 26, return from the underworld, engage in life. So if you've been feeling a little bit on the outskirts, looking in the outsides, looking at everybody else, you may feel that you've been disconnected. Um, you're actually going to return to that life. You're going to return to the good old days. There's going to be a boost of energy where things become a lot more positive, okay? Now this card indicates you have been going through a lot of trials and tribulations. You've been tested left, right, and center and you have been passing those tests and that's why the solar eclipse is going to bring respite it's going to make things easier for you now of course we've all been struggling with external forces right now things like inflation or uh you know um bills going up and bills rising and things like that but you're being given the gift of new ideas ways to sort of evolve and challenge the status quo and find alternative ways of bringing in abundance and also finding ways to um, help you through any difficult periods that you may be experiencing. Uh, this card also indicates um, that after many trials and tribulations, you are attaining mastery. You're becoming very flexible. You're really good at what you do. You're actually a master of your craft. And if there is something that you do not know, you're the sort of person who digs deep to find the information. So you never let any obstacle or any setback actually set you back. You actually or a fighter, but as I keep getting this energy for you, you're going to move past this energy and things are going to get easier for you, okay? This is a time where you're going to see uh, you maturing, um, you know, you're going to rise up after any dark night of the soul energy that you've been going through. You're going to come out the other side a much more evolved person. Uh, now, when we take the foot off the brakes a little bit, um, we actually attract more abundance. So they're showing me that you're overcoming fear, okay? Now, with the fear card, you could have been um, someone who is an empath. I get this energy of you being an empath. And not only do you deal with your own fears, you may actually absorb others' fears as well. You pick up other people's energy. But this is a time of change for you. You're becoming very, very flexible. And I feel like you're overcoming fears and obstacles. And you are starting to see all the gifts that you've been given in this lifetime and stepping into a spotlight. I actually see you coming out from behind the curtain. These two cards indicate that if you've been hiding away, you've been a bit of a homebody recently, or you feel like you've been in hermit mode for quite some time, seeking sort of inward guidance and being really philosophical about life and sometimes that kind of gets you down. I get this energy of you sort of embarking on um, coming out of your shell, uh, embarking on new opportunities, um, you know, putting yourself out there, you know, connecting to hobbies and sort of really empowering yourself and bringing a lot more enjoyment into your world, okay? So I definitely see you stepping out of fear and into empowerment and independence. Um, now, we definitely have a major change occurring for you. This could be spiritually um, as well as emotionally. Uh, this is a card of you removing any baggage over this solar eclipse. I feel like there's a major awakening for you. As you see, you've got number nine there, which is hermit energy. Uh, you know, also, this is the card of change, which is number 
number 13. And it's no accident that you got the Epiphany card as well, which is also number 13. So pay close attention to miracle synchronicity. Also, you are going to see two sets of numbers frequently over the eclipse, and that is 1111 and 1515. Those, car, those numbers will uh, sort of indicate the changes that are occurring for you. 1111 is a soul path number change, which means things become easier uh, and you recognize you're on the right path. And number 1515 is about acknowledging your gifts, overcoming obstacles, and embracing a positive new future. As you can see with the change card, this person is removing baggage and is um, leaving all that uh, is not necessary in their world and is taking what they feel is um, important in their life. So I feel like you're really going to be sort of restructuring your life in a way where you uh, sort of cut out any unhealthy relationships or situations and you're ev evolving. I get this energy evolving. Some of you may actually be physically thinking about moving or relocating and you may actually find a place that suits your soul over the solar eclipse energy. Now the solar eclipse energy will last for about four to five weeks after the actual event. Okay, so, but I feel like you will find an opportunity to change, um, whether that's location, in terms of where you live, maybe in terms of your career, uh, but those big changes occurring and you are in charge of them, okay? Now, you're really good in your own company. You're someone who thrives in your own company. But remember, your guides want you to be aware that connections with other people also enhance your experience as a human, okay? Um, the card of faith is important because it really does indicate and, you know, um, I, I shuffled all these cards independently. They popped out for you all, pile one, okay? So this was definitely your message. This, uh, the, the faith card is a card of, you know, a light at the end of the tunnel. It indicates that after dark times or anything you've been struggling with, um, the faith that has brought you through, it will bring you to the light. Uh, the faith card is an indication um, that... Um, difficult times are passing. It's symbolically sort of structured that the bird is singing in the shadows and the girl is waiting for dawn to appear. It's a new horizon that is appearing for you. It's about trusting in the unknown and having faith that you will be drawn to your divine purpose and that if you've been shaken by suffering or sadness or, you know, even the fragility of our own humanness, um, there is a time to wake up and see that better times are ahead, okay? This is a deep meaning card of life and its mysteries, and it is um, us receiving the answers that we've been seeking and recognizing that there is a better day ahead for you, okay? Also, the presence of this card indicates um, that you've got to look at the bigger picture, um, that sometimes we can get lost in the details of life. Sometimes... Um, we need to see the bigger picture and know that we are on the right track, okay? Especially when you've been facing adversity. Uh, this card also indicates that you have hidden gifts that perhaps you're not uh, truly fulfilling at this time and you will discover these gifts over the solar eclipse. You may feel suddenly compelled to paint or write or, you know, take on a course of learning and that is your guide sort of hinting to you that this is a path that you need to explore for your evolution as a human or a spiritual being having a human experience, okay? Now also, you in this lifetime were born to make a lot of money. You will attract a lot of abundance over your lifetime and the independence card indicates you're attracting more as you move through this solar eclipse. Uh, the card of independence, uh, for some of you, I mean, when you reduce it, four plus five is nine, so that's another nine energy you've got there, which is a card of working on your own. Some of you are meant to you know, run your own business, uh, but this is a card of attracting a lot of wealth because of your hard work. The card actually says you've worked hard to create the success and security that you have around you. Indulge in your surroundings for you have the self-discipline and maturity to do so. Plentitude, luxury, and privilege. So it indicates whatever you turn your hand to or you turn your attention to, that is what will sort of grow and bring a lot of material gain, okay? So I definitely see some of you perhaps saving to buy your own home or, um, you know, you really bossing up and sort of being financially very savvy and making good decisions. But you are meant to attract a lot of wealth in this lifetime. And that's why 
you've done a lot of struggling when you were younger okay um, because of the rewards that are being gifted to you as you mature so it's sometimes doesn't feel fair that you know you've had a hard journey to get to where you are right now but when you look back when you've received all the rewards you will realize that it has been worth it okay now you're being given the gift of um, inspiration just going to grab the epiphany card there for you over the solar eclipse you're going to see it's time to shine there's a lot of ideas flowing uh, the epiphany card is a card of change but it's sudden light bulb moments sudden realizations and revelations where you realize why things did not work for you in certain areas of your life whether that's relationships friendships lovers uh, and you're going to realize that in some way they played a part in your experience and your evolution also these things can be turned into um you know because i'm seeing a writer right now so some of you may be writers um so you may use your personal experience to write a book or a screenplay or a play or something like that or a blog in order to help other people or you may use your experience in your work to help others in some way so that you can inform them and make them realize that they're not alone when you get the epiphany card this is a card that you are very intelligent okay you have a lot of wonderful ideas but sometimes you do discard them a little bit out of fear or out of mistrusting your intuition do not doubt your wonderful int intuition it will never lead you astray when you get this card it is a signal that the universe wants to know uh, wants you to know that you're being guided and that they're helping you along they're sending inspiration from above um, suddenly you're going to have very clear ideas or you're going to see or understanding something in a very new way um, and have a revelation of how to find a solution to your situations you're going to receive these ideas from left field but they're going to be so accurate that you're going to even wonder how do they even popped into your head in the first place okay but know that you're being protected and guided and you have wonderful ideas you are a bright spark you're the sort of person when you walk into a room you light up that room but sometimes you're not even aware of your own strength and your own power as you move through the solar eclipse you will realize that power because that solar eclipse is actually going to empower you okay so watch out for that also you will see signs of light bulbs everywhere you go over the next four to five weeks these may be drawn in cartoon form or for example um, you may have to go out and buy a light bulb in the store or you see one drop in front of you uh, this is you know a big sign from the universe uh, to let you know that they are guiding you and that difficult times are being put behind you uh, the time of struggle um, is going to get easier for you as well now also we've got the card of strength okay as I said you're one tough cookie you were strong enough to walk this path I know that doesn't sound um, you know helpful when you're going through difficulties but whenever you are going through cycles of change this is actually a magic card um, that gives you little uh, spells or affirmations to say when you're going through times of difficulty and this card it says strength stability in this hour endurance stamina I empower okay so this is a very important sort of affirmation for you to remember over the solar eclipse but also during moments of difficulty it's number 34 when you reduce it 3 plus 4 is 7 the chariot card number which means breakthrough energy towards success accomplishing a goal finding motivation and the willpower to commit yourself and uh, thrive and survive under difficult circumstances okay so um, definitely use this during uh, periods of difficulty and you will gain strength and the ability to overcome your obstacle and move through it with panache okay also this card is an indication that you are a very very strong person you never give up you have a lot of willpower your tenacity will see you being successful in this lifetime now I do see that in some area of your life especially with the Mars energy um, there the Mars energy connects to the Emperor card so that is about you being very protective of your heart so you're someone who's very independent and when it comes to love sometimes people find it difficult to approach you you may have heard that before now I have to say uh, that's nothing to do with you my beautiful pile one um, you know um, of course you're doing a lot of inner work and you're dropping boundaries building healthy boundaries but you're also allowing the right people in now so of course the right people you know will um, get into your inner circle a bit easier than the people who are not meant to be on your path 
but you tend to be someone who is very guarded with your heart. So you may have had a lot of difficult experiences when it comes to love, and you may have shied away from looking for love for quite some time. With all the nines in your chart, it tells me that you may have been a solitary energy for a while and taken yourself out of the dating game. Now, I definitely see love coming towards you. There is a change in that area for you, but it does require you to take action, okay? They've just given me 2121 as well. This may be a number that's important for you. So I see you putting yourself out there um, to um, you know, meet somebody new if you are looking for love. And if you already have a, a loving uh, partnership, then I definitely see um, you and this person finding balance in your relationship because there may have been some struggles or some arguing going on recently. I definitely uh, feel that both of you come into alignment with each other over the solar eclipse. But if you're looking for love, I definitely see a change in that arena for you. You've been independent for so long and you're going to remain independent, but you're going to find someone who actually complements who you are, helps raise you up as much as you raise them up as well. Now, I'm going to pull some extra cards uh, in real time for you. Thanks so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. I'm only picking the uprights from this deck. Just want to see any more blessings that are coming your way over the uh, solar eclipse. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please guide? They want one more. Okay, I just got to get that card for you as well. One moment, please. So you've got the Three of Cups. Okay, so the Three of Cups is a card of getting out there with friends, uh, having good times, but it also indicates um, a period of celebration, okay? And the solar eclipse is actually something that will help that. So you may feel more compelled to get out there, enjoy things with your friends. Also, I feel the Three of Cups is a card of shared resources. So you may actually hear uh, through a friend of someone who is available in terms of love um, and is kind of interested in you because I get this energy of someone kind of checking you out okay also the three of cups is a card of celebration of you um sort of gaining reward for efforts efforts that you've put into either career or opportunities uh, we've also got the king of cups now you put your whole heart and soul into everything and what did i say about love coming your way king of cups is the highest love of all so i definitely see love headed in your direction but the king of cups is also a card of leadership responsibility and i feel like you're learning and evolving all the time to open your heart in the right way um, i definitely see you dropping any sort of brick walls that you've had protecting your heart and opening yourself up to this new love that is headed your way. You'll actually, if you are looking for love, you'll meet this person in a crowd of people. Uh, this could be a gathering with friends or an event that you're in, uh, invited to. So um, if you've been a homebody, as I can see, for quite some time, um, then you know there's going to be some sort of invitations that you will think about not going to at first, but actually when you uh, change your mind, you get out there, you actually open yourself up to meeting new love, okay? Also, the King of Cups indicates you have a beautiful, pure heart, okay? You're a really good friend to other people. You're someone who is fair. You're someone who is very kind and open-hearted, and you deserve the success that is coming towards you, okay? Now, we've also got the Two of Cups. What did I say about love? I can feel it. Before the cards even came out, I could feel that love is coming your way. You've been on your own for too long, Pile One, and the Two of Cups indicates a lot of romance, a lot of passion. Also, the Two of Cups is connected to the Law of Attraction. So whatever it is you are trying to focus on at this time, you are attracting it your way, okay? Two of Cups can be an exchange Exchange, a gift. Uh, I feel like you are a gift, but I feel you're going to receive a gift soon, okay, is what I'm feeling. Also, there's an encounter here where you benefit, whether that's in your career, if you're trying to set up your own business. I mean, with the sort of Mars energy and the independence card, you're perfectly suited to setting up your own business and you'll attract more abundance and more reward um, as you sort of uh, come into your own in that entrepreneurialship. If you work in a company, I definitely see uh, you being gifted either a bonus or a raise, uh, something really rewarded headed your way, but definitely love is coming your way, okay? Uh, also, we have the Seven of Wands. Now, Seven of Wands indicates your nature again, which is all about your strength. Seven of Wands indicates you do not give up. You fight for what you want, okay? But these cards tell me that the fight is pretty much over, that you're attracting the things that you've been fighting for. The Seven of Wands is an indication 
that yes, sometimes you feel a bit stressed and you're a bit guarded, but you never give up on fighting for what you deserve and desire and you will win. The Seven of Wands is a card of a winner, okay? Uh, seven of uh, Wands energy is a card of, you know, going the distance of perseverance and you have that natural ability. Um, but there's something to celebrate here, something you've been fighting for, you're going to be celebrating a win. It actually makes your heart swell with joy. You're going to feel really proud of yourself, okay? And the Two of Cups indicates that you're attracting what you need at this time and that includes love. So if you are looking for love, there is someone, this person could have strong Scorpio in their chart, could also be a bit Pisces, Cancerian energy, um, with with a little bit of Aries Leo Sag okay it doesn't have to be but they in the Sun moon and rising but they can have strong placements in that area if you are looking for love this is someone that is a soulmate this is someone who will love you even at you know your worst even in your down times and you will love this person there's a lot of romantic attraction a lot of passion and this person challenges you in the right way as well uh, I'm just gonna go and get Some ruins before we close. Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune energy straight away here. Okay, so this indicates, um, I mean, this is also like good fortune headed your way. It's a, a ruin of partnerships if you're looking for a partnership. I mean, it could be a partnership in business as well. It doesn't have to be in love, but it's divine union when you get this ruin. So it's very, very positive. Also, I mean, this ruin is literally called the gift. Okay, so I definitely see you receiving a gift in the next uh, couple of weeks, uh, four to five weeks, and um, it's something very, very positive. Now, also, we have the hail ruin. This is about limits, upheavals, um, you know, risks that you've taken, delays, and going through shadow periods where you're overcoming obstacles and, you know, coming out the other side. If you've been dealing with disruptive forces, I feel like, you know, things are getting easier for you. So again, this ruin indicates there is a payoff, okay? For anything negative you've been going through, there is a payoff. And finally, we have um, this. I'm just going to get it into the camera, make sure it is... Um, you can see it fully there. This is the birch ruin, okay? And this is all about um, becoming. You are evolving, okay? Now, uh, you could be birthing new ideas. Uh, this could also be that if you've been going through any family problems or any worry, any anxiety, that all those fears will be disappeared dissipated they will go away because you'll see that there was nothing to worry about this is a ruin of purity as well of having un unlimited ideas and inspiration and knowing that your pure heart is attracting really good things to you okay so very positive energy coming out my beautiful pile uh, one but you have struggled to get to this position in the first place so expect the solar eclipse to bring a lot more benevolent energy for you and I wish you a lot of luck in the future. Thank you so much and love and light. Well, hello, beautiful pile two. Welcome to your reading. If you chose the sun, this is the message for you. You are someone who naturally stands out from the crowd. There is something different about you, pile two, and you may not be able to put your finger on it, but even you, when you were younger, you just felt like you were apart from other people. Sometimes you may have felt like you're always on the outside looking in. Uh, that trait also popped up in pile one, so there may be something in that pile for you as well, but I'm getting an energy that you are someone who um, may have come across people in your lifetime who have been unkind or try to restrict your path in some way. You may have been bullied for the way that you looked when you were younger because you looked different. Uh, you actually looked more um, attractive. Um, people were jealous of your looks, but you may have in some way um, believed these people and felt that you were not good enough. Uh, they give me an energy that um, if you had people be unkind to you, they were actually sort of um, jealous of your skills, your gifts, your talents, and your beauty, or the way that you looked. Male or female, not a gender-specific reading. So you may have had people be unkind or try to block your path when you were younger. You were given this difficult experience, um, and you became stronger and 
overcame that energy. You're actually stronger than you think. But over the solar eclipse, you may be thinking of these moments that you went through when you were younger in order to sort of purge yourself from those negative um, experiences and only take the lessons and the empowerment that those experiences have uh, given you because each experience informed your life and made you who you are. Some of you may actually use those experience to inform your career as well. Okay. Uh, pile two, you're the pile that has been questioning things. Uh, you tend to question everything that you're given, which is really wonderful. And you may have been searching for a lot of answers recently regarding your path. Um, you're very philosophical. You're a very deep thinker. And um, we've got this card in particular. This is Seek the Wisdom of Your Shamanic Guides. There's two wolves there, which indicates you may have been trying to um, seek answers regarding your soul path. Or you may be a little bit confused on your path recently and you're searching for direction in some area of your life. It doesn't have to be a career. It can be um, in your personal life where you're wondering um, what's next or how do in I embrace the path that I'm meant to be on. This card indicates that your guides are trying to give you signs and omens. So watch out for those. Uh, pile two, you tend to live life a mile a minute. You're always um, having wonderful thoughts. You're always spinning lots of plates. You're multitasking all the time. And this card indicates slow down, especially also when you've got the card of Saturn. This is about slow energy. You don't have to rush at this time. Your guides are trying to connect with you and trying to give you the answers that you seek. So ask your guides for specific signs or symbols and they will appear in your waking day. Also, wolves may be a sign that you see quite regularly over the next four to five weeks as your guides try to help and hint at the path that you're meant to be on. But your guides are indicating that you pretty much are on the right path, but there is some sort of new chapter that you are going to embrace that will bring you great fortune over the next four to five weeks. So if you've had new ideas or if you've been trying to set something up for yourself, um, definitely pay close attention. Your guides are trying to hint at the path that you're meant to take. Now, <clears throat> We do have the card of doorways and Saturn, and you may have been struggling with uh, your career or your soul path in some way. Saturn is the planet of restriction, so you may have come up across um, a lot of difficulties. And when you get this card, you may feel that things are pretty low right now, or you're feeling pretty bad about the path um, that you are on. You're maybe feeling pretty stagnant, or you feel like things are not working for you. Um, number six is the card of balance. So you're being given an opportunity to slow down and sort of reevaluate circumstances and reprioritize. Uh, make sure the things that you're connecting to actually serve your purpose and your true prosperity and really connect to the heart space. Um, when you get this Saturn card, it, it means that anything that's been feeling bad, whether it's low vibe energy or people have been a little bit hard on you, um, it, it tends to mean that these things are going to be resolved very, very soon. So this solar eclipse is actually going to bring you a major resolution in anything that you have been finding um, you're struggling with or that you've been going through hardship. Also, when you get this card, my beautiful pile two, my guides are telling me right now that you tend to be someone who is very, very hard on yourself, okay? So if you were bullied when you were younger, they really want you to look over this solar eclipse. Have you picked up on any of the energy that those bullies sort of... Um, pushed towards you when you were younger? Have you sort of um, kept on any of those energies and sort of directed them inwards at yourself? Uh, because you tend to be very hard on yourself. If anything's going wrong in a situation, uh, you tend to be the sort of person who blames yourself. If you find that when you bump into somebody, you're always the, pers the first person to say, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You know, of course, if you bump into someone, you know, it's, it's naturally polite to say sorry. But if you always find that you're the sort of person who says sorry, um, there is an energy here of you playing small in life. And as you move through the Saturn... Um, if you move, sorry, if you, when you move through the solar eclipse, that Saturn energy is actually going to sort of 
take away those attributes um, to empower yourself and to prevent you from playing small, okay? This card is a, a card where you're going to be brutally honest with yourself as well and point out any areas that are no longer useful for you. Um, when you get this card, also, um, this is a card of you um, sort of looking at life and its harsh moments and looking at how it taught you a lesson to be independent and how people who try to get in your way or get in your path try to hinder you in some way it's because they were jealous they were jealous of all the talents that you have okay um, also this card is a card that uh, indicates that you've been asking about your goals and you may be sort of feeling a little bit down on yourself that perhaps you haven't accomplished more at this age or you may have felt like um, time has been wasted in some area of your life or you may have um, started to think about how important situations or affairs slipped by you while you were concentrating on things that really didn't matter at the time. Many lessons are being learnt and I feel with this card, this card indicates that there is currently something better being lined up for you in the future. This gift of Saturn is to keep you on your path. It is to help you face parts of your life that perhaps you dreaded or that you felt were difficult and you did not want to process them. But the contract with Saturn actually points you in the direction of solidifying your achievements and, and having more achievements and sort of implementing structures to bring a better life, okay? Uh, this also indicates that all the sacrifices you've made will be worth it and that it's a good time to be diligent and not rush into anything okay um, when you get this card it also indicates that your struggle will bring fame and fortune so pile two as i said there's naturally something about you that people sort of gravitate towards the good people in your life they notice those skills and those talents that you have and they may have said to you oh you're really funny you should be a comedian you should be on the stage or you're naturally really gifted at acting or art or um, you're really a good performer. You should be in front of the TV because you look so, um, you've got a face for TV and film and things like that. So you may have been told those things over your lifetime. Even the story, the narrative of your life is so compelling that some people have said to, may have said to you in the past, you should write a book about your experiences or you should make a screenplay about your life because it's so interesting and you have something interesting and natural to say, okay? Um, there's something about you that's different. And when you get this card, it can mean that if you are naturally sort of persuaded in life to want to be famous, not everybody wants to be famous, but you will naturally gravitate towards positions of fame and you will actually accomplish fame in your lifetime. Um, if you don't want to be famous, it may be something more on a local scale where you are someone who stands out in the community, someone who helps people or in some way is naturally warm and, um, you know, a good people person. You, you, you're someone who actually will naturally build success over your lifetime and you tend to sort of share your success with others as well, okay? Um, this is a card that reminds you that actually whatever you've been wishing for, you're actually moving up in life and you're taking life to the next level. Whether it's an ambitious thing in your career, you've struggled for this point um, and I feel like this is a breakthrough moment as you move through the solar eclipse, okay? Now we also have doorways. Uh, this is a card to remind you that sometimes doorways are meant to remain shut for us because it's not divine timing. So um, pile two, you may have gone through some sort of disappointment recently or just before you came to this reading, or you may have felt that things just don't work out for you in life and you may have felt like you've been born under an unlucky star, but that is not the case at all. The universe is preparing you for this moment. Uh, a portal is being opened for you for change. And I feel with the doorways card, this is an indication that Choices are going to be presented to you um, at this time, and it's very important to stop, think, and assess what is your next step, okay? This is a card of doorways opening for you for a reason, um, for good luck, opportunity, and it's going to present a positive move forward or shift in your life, okay? Even at times when things feel like they're not working out for you, a doorway will be presented to you, okay? We've got number 11 here. So if you've been struggling with your path or wondering if you're headed in the right direction, an opportunity and an omen is going to be prevent, uh, presented to you so that you can see that you are actually on the right track. 
This is a card that indicates uh, as one door shuts in front of you, another door opens a pathway to a new opportunity that will bring a lot of success. You don't need to rush now, okay? You may have a lot of decisions to make in your life right now, but this is a card again that reminds you along with that Saturn card it reminds you don't rush you don't need to rush into anything right now take your time to think but this card also asks you over this solar eclipse period what is it you want okay it's a time to really truly ask for what you want to experience as a spiritual being having a human experience so you know what is it you want to achieve do you want a new job do you want to study or change your career path do you want to move or is your question related to a relationship do you want to find a partner do you want to go on holiday do you want to stop worrying about money if the answer is all of these things and more then the doorway is being opened for you to explore that now they're giving me the number 1212 12. whenever you see 1212 12, and you're going to see it a lot over the next four to five weeks this indicates some really great news coming your way that helps you elevate helps you walk through a portal of life that brings radical change and prosperity okay uh, this card also indicates uh, not forcing anything that is not working for you at this time. Uh, it really indicates that um, sometimes things are not meant to work for us at certain periods in our life. Um, I'm only going to tell you a little bit about me. Many years ago, I tried to set something up and it really did not work. It was just not the right time. And I tried to force it so hard. I wanted it so bad. You know, I went through so much struggle and I put myself into bad health and I just forged away thinking, I'm going to do it. I'm tenacious. I'm going to make it happen. But the universe said no. Okay. And then I started to become very spiritually aware and my guides were like, it's not never, it's just not now. And they said, pause, look at the things that are working in your life right now and focus on those things. And the things that you want that you feel are not working for you at this moment will all slot into place when it's divine timing. And I kid you not, I took my attention off that thing that I really wanted and I focused on other areas that felt more fulfilling. And then a couple of years later, all of a sudden, the thing that I wanted the most in the world, it came to me. It just happened. It just, it didn't land in my lap. It just naturally got attracted to me. Okay. I didn't have to force it. I didn't have to work for it. It just happened. So sometimes we have to realize that it's not never, it's just not now. And a doorway will open when it is divine timing because it's number 11 right there. Okay. Um, so I feel you're going to um, seek a lot, well, you're going to receive a lot of answers regarding your soul path, and there's definitely an opportunity that helps you make a new beginning. I mean, this is also a card of becoming comfortable with your body. You're stepping into a new version of you, okay? So I definitely see you, if you're someone who's been hard on yourself or on your looks, um, you're actually naturally attractive, but sometimes you do not see it. And sometimes you may have even wondered if you have body dysmorphia because of the way that you look at yourself and the way that others look at you you may have been told by other people yes you're very attractive and you know you you know I mean it's not about aesthetics but you know sometimes as humans we do sort of worry about these things and you may not see it so other people actually see a lot of beauty in you that you do not see and over this solar eclipse you're going to find a wonderful peace within your soul and your mind where suddenly you look at yourself in a different way almost with new eyes where you love um, all of you where uh, where you have not loved before it's like looking at yourself with a different different um fresh approach where you see the beauty within yourself where you accept your body where you love yourself no matter what you look like this is about accepting the vehicle that you came in in this lifetime okay and if there's things that you do not sort of like about yourself you're embracing new ways to change that in a healthy manner for example new diets exercise routines but most of all over the solar eclipse you're going to change the way that you look at yourself okay you're going to there's an energy here of acceptance of your beauty of your talents and notice that you are actually a gift okay also when you get this card this is a card of a radiant new beginning where you reach for the stars, okay, and you actually accomplish them. It's a card of having, uh, you know, encountered obstacles, 
before arriving at this point. And as we move throughout the solar eclipse, it brings a point of freedom, okay? Um, it indicates that you are soaring towards the stars and that you can accomplish whatever it is you set out to during this new phase, okay? You're going to attract a lot more joyful experiences and I feel like some of you could be wiping a slate clean in areas of your life uh, in order to embark on a new journey, whether it's a new relationship or whether it's a new um, friendship or even new opportunities. Um, if you're retired, for example, it may be you embracing a new way of living where you enjoy um, the spoils of your labor and you actually have a much more peaceful environment around you of acceptance. Um, this card is an indication also of transcending old habits or ways of doing things or relating to things that have, may have been holding you back, okay? They may not necessarily be radical sort of moments of change. Sometimes it can be a series of subtle changes that brings about the most lasting and miracle benefits in your life, okay? So if you've been working hard towards a new beginning, such as a relocation or a change of career, um, and restrictions have been hindering your progress, know that the, the winds of change are about and you are about to launch yourself into the thing or opportunity that you have manifested, okay? So this is a very positive energy for you uh, where you realize difficulties are sort of spurring you on in this moment. Um, we do have the letter, which indicates um, some sort of correspondence coming your way. I feel like it is an official letter, especially since we've got Saturn in the mix. Now, <clears throat> Excuse me. I would be wary of um, letters coming in. Uh, make sure you open all letters that come in and you don't avoid any post that comes in because there could be some sort of official letter from a governing body or from the taxes or, you know, the, the tax establishment or, you know, all of those things. You don't want to miss important correspondence. So just be mindful of that. Uh, but it says here, you may be receiving a message of importance. Now it's number 26. When you reduce it, two plus six is eight, the number of the self. This message is just for you okay information news and disclosure but I feel like this is about an opportunity that is coming your way that actually helps you change the way that you work and live okay so this could be um, money news it could be uh, an investment that you've sort of been dealing with actually bears more reward it could be a new job opportunity there's definitely money attached to it we've got the card of great fortune here um, for some of you, this could be that if you've lent someone money, they could suddenly repay you during this period as well. Also, I'm getting an energy of people from your past that you haven't heard from for a while are going to reach out to you. Now, this could be in the form of an ex. It doesn't have to be, but it could also be friends that you haven't seen for a while because I'm getting an energy of nostalgia and they're giving me the word reunion. So this can be someone that you haven't heard from in a while. Um, whether it's a friend or someone you lost touch with at college, they're going to seek you out. They've been missing you, okay? So I'm definitely picking up on that as well. But ultimately, I see a message of um, your path regarding your path coming your way that actually helps you make a major breakthrough. It's something you've been manifesting, something you've been dreaming of here with the Daydream card. Number 11, okay? I shuffled all these cards independently and they popped out just for your pile okay you've got 11 you've got 11 you know you've got numerical synchronicity here it's so important to realize um, when you get numerical synchronicity it indicates major and radical change and this is about um, changes that you're trying to make to your soul path so whatever it is you've been dreaming up or wishing for, because all those stars, again, you've got so many stars in your reading, okay? Look at all the stars around Saturn. You've got the stars around the new beginnings, and we've got all the stars in, you know, your Shamanic Guides card, and right here as well. I feel like the stars are aligning to bring you a gift or something you've been wishing for, but also you are naturally meant to stand out. You're naturally meant to shine. So whatever arena you work in or whatever sort of moment you find yourself in, you're naturally gifted to shine, that wonderful personality of yours. So don't play small. And something you've been wishing for is coming true for you, okay? Again, I keep getting this energy of lots of flashing lights, you know, like you know, like paparazzi kind of flashing lights. So I feel like this could be uh, someone... Um, 
stepping into the limelight in some area. It could be you being appreciated for your natural gifts and talents. I feel like you're becoming, you're stepping into your own. Uh, there's definitely star energy about you. Um, some of you may even look like stars or something like that and decide to go into, you know, a, a working environment where you become a lookalike here or something like that. So that's not going to be for everyone, of course, but that's just popped up in the energy field right now. So um, I have to mention whatever pops up. But whatever you've been dreaming about, I feel like you're going to accomplish, okay? You've struggled for this moment and things are going to get easier for you. Now, of course, we have to be sort of really honest with the time period that we're living in right now and realize that um, there are difficulties ahead for humanity, not just on a small scale. We're going through like major shifts in terms of inflation and bills popping up, energy crises and things like that. And I feel like you have really good ideas that are going to help you navigate this period, okay? Know that with this card, with the shamanic gu uh, guides, that you are protected, but also you will find a way. Okay, you will find a way to navigate this time period. I do feel like you're going to be sent the gift of money in some area of your life. Okay, now this could be in the form of a raise, a promotion or a bonus. When you get this card, this indicates that you will be having a very good period now after a period of adversity or struggle. Okay, this card is one of the most powerful cards in this particular deck. It is a very positive card and it brings good fortune, okay? This is the goddess um, Fortuna and she is bestowing benevolence. So again, it's number 26, okay? Do you see where I'm going with that? I shuffle these cards. I wish I should have done the video of me shuffling the cards, but it's number 26 and number 26, number 11 and number 11. These are very important numbers that just popped out just for you. So please pay attention to these numbers. This indicates an unexpected good... Let me start that again. Unexpected good luck is headed your way, okay? And when you get this card, it can indicate that any challenges that you come up across will actually be for your benefit. They will nullify any harmful effects and you are protected, okay? Again, when you reduce it, two plus six is eight, the number of the self. So I feel like there's good fortune headed your way just for you. So this could be like you're on a, a winning streak or it could be that you're making major improvements. It indicates any improvements you're trying to make you will be satisfied with the outcome. So um, this card also indicates, you know, new perspectives on areas where you've, you've been struggling and having improvements in career and relationship um, situations as well. So if you're looking for love, we'll pull some cards on that as well. But right now, I feel like you're a bit more focused on yourself and your own sort of self-improvement and your soul path. So I see that although that there is love coming for you in the future, this solar eclipse, you're more focused on yourself, accepting yourself for who you are and how you've arrived in this lifetime and spiritual sort of evolution, okay? Now, this one thing is so important for you um, because you may have a different way of looking at yourself. You may have not seen how attractive you are in this lifetime. Again, it's not about the aesthetics, but some of you have to realize, your guides want you to realize that actually you are very attractive. You are naturally beautiful and you have a, a wonderful heart to boot as well. Um, now, some of you may actually um, gravitate towards businesses that are connected to the beauty industry or to um, um, careers where you are frontline and you know your face is your fortune sort of thing and you're naturally beautiful they don't want you to doubt your beauty okay so when you're feeling that you have moments of not feeling your best or you look in the mirror and you feel like you're not um, your best they want you to realize um, this sort of affirmation okay it says I have a form which is divine I allow what is within to shine. Now, that's not just about beauty. It's also about that inner world that you have, allowing it to shine forward. As I said, you're someone who naturally is gifted at shining. I mean, you have may have strong Leo placements in your chart in some area as well. But this is a card of recognizing that you have come to this lifetime and you are enough in your talents, 
in your skills and also in the way that you look, okay? Of course, we can all make improvements and enhance the way uh, we are experiencing life, but your guides want you to be aware that you are someone who is naturally uh, gifted and also naturally beautiful and don't doubt your wonderful self, okay? It's number four, which is about solid foundations. It's also about security. Be secure in the knowledge that you've come to this lifetime with everything that you need in order to be very, very successful. So these are the things that your guides want you to really focus on. Um, you're going to find answers in your path. There's a really great news headed your way uh, that would actually help you launch yourself. Some of you may be launching a new business at this time, or you may find um, that you are um, attracted to some sort of idea or hunch that you have, and you may feel uncertain about it, but you will push through this energy and you will be very successful. You'll make a success of it, okay? Now, this could be a side hustle, second stream of income, because I'm seeing a pathway. A, I'm seeing two doors in particular open for you. Uh, maybe you've got a choice with regards to your life at the moment and you will make the right decisions for you. Uh, but I'm going to pull some cards in lifetime just to see what other sort of blessings are headed your way. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide? Beautiful pile too. Oh, I gotta get that card. One moment, please. Okay, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide? Beautiful pile too. What else do they need? Can you please guide them for their highest good? Okay. Um, so we've got the Hermit. We've got the Herald of Wands, and we have the Five of Cups. And I'm just going to get that other card. We've got the Knight of Cups. Wonderful, wonderful energy here. So the Knight of Cups, to start with that, that's the one that fell on the floor first. Now, the Knight of Cups is a card that reminds us to fall in love with ourselves first. The cup of love is always for ourselves first. So this is about you loving the intimate parts of yourselves that sometimes you have even rejected, okay? So they want you to be aware of that. And that Knight of Cups also indicates that you are someone who uh, is very romantic in life. And when you're looking for love, um, be mindful to um, really be honest with yourself and not romanticize the sort of person that you're with. See, th see them for who they truly are in that moment, okay? Now, the Knight of Cups also indicates you are a gift. You are a gift. You offer a lot of yourself when you're investing in opportunities and friendships and love relationships. You give your all, okay? Also, when you get the Knight of Cups, you don't tend to focus on the money. Money is, of course, is important, but more than anything for you, you're always someone who cares more about your family, making sure your family and friends are okay, and that you put your whole heart and soul into your career and life. You're more interested in having a fulfilling human experience than money, but you will actually attract a lot of great fortune in your life, okay? That Knight of Cups also signifies that if you are looking for love, there is love coming. Okay, um, I shuffled for pile one. Love was coming for them as well. So uh, as I said, there may be something in pile one that is uh, connected in some way to this reading as well. Um, so you may want to check that out. Now, the hermit indicates that you are an old soul. You're someone who has a lot of wisdom. Okay, and the hermit also indicates that sometimes uh, you may feel alone in your ventures. You may feel that you always have to struggle to get to where you need to go. The Hermit is a card of slowing down, of pausing, of really reflecting inwards to find inspiration. The lantern there with that light indicates you will find inspiration, you will find solutions, and you will find the answers that you've been searching for in your career, okay? But you must slow down with that Hermit energy, okay? Also, uh, for some of you with the Hermit energy, you've been in a solitary energy for a long time. You've been looking for love for a long time to the point where you've even given up on it. Saturn says the restrictions are too harsh and you may feel like love is not coming for you. But with the Hermit and the uh, Knight of Cups there, it indicates that there is love headed in your direction. So don't give up on love if you're looking for it. Now, the Five of Cups also indicates um, sometimes your guides are aware that you think about the things that you've lost or you uh, focus on the things that are not working for you instead of having faith that um, things will work out in your favor. The Five of Cups over this sort of um, 
solar eclipse energy, you will be focusing on the um, the good things. You will see the rainbow in the darkness. And remember, whenever there's a rainbow, it means there's been rain and sun, good times and bad to really make something special. So I feel with this Five of Cups, you're not even aware that there's a surprise opportunity lying in the shadows for you at this time, and you're about to embrace a better time ahead. There is a better future ahead. So the Five of Cups reminds us not to dwell on the things that are not working. Dwell on the things that could work. Dwell on the things that are working, and you will see a major improvement in your life. Also with the Five of Cups, you may feel that things are pretty awful at the moment, but when you really sit with your thoughts, you will actually realize that things are not as bad as they seem. And the universe will show up for you and help you move through any difficult periods in order to see you successful on the other side, fulfilled on the other side, and content on the other side. The Five of Cups also can be an indication of you finding an alternative way to move through difficulty and embrace uh, good fortune. So I definitely see that you're moving past obstacles and you are going to accomplish great things. The Herald of Wands is a really positive card of taking action. It's a card of being determined for a new adventure and being inspired by your ideas because they have value. This is a card to remind you to dream boldly, that you can accomplish whatever it is that you set out to do, that you are brave beyond compare, and that you have the courage to live life on your own terms. Now, when you get the Herald of Wands, heralds tend to bring news. So this indicates some really passionate news or some exciting news. They show me three, 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 three. So four threes there. They show me double three, double three. Um, so that is a number also that is important for you. This can be um, something connected to your career if you're working or something you've been trying to achieve for a while. Um, it, it represents accomplishment, that number, with this card, okay? So the Herald of Wands indicates that uh, you will venture forward boldly, either on a new path or because this card is uh, connected to your purpose. So I feel like your ideas have value and you are finding your purpose and you take great strides to move forward and be successful. She's holding a spear there, so that's about you being right on target and receiving divine guidance to help you move through any difficult periods to accomplish whatever it is you set out to, okay? Now, I'm just going to get some ruins before we close. Right, okay, so the first one we got here, of course, is the horse, and it's in the reverse, so that indicates you've been feeling stuck. You may feel like um, timing has been off in some area of your life, and that's why you've been questioning things. Uh, you may have felt like you're not making progress, but as you move through the solar eclipse, you'll be making more progress than ever before, okay? And remember, the solar eclipse energy lasts um, about four to five weeks after the actual event, okay? So this indicates also sudden changes occurring in your day-to-day -day that will bring a lot of prosperity. Um, also, we have, wow, so we've got another ruin there that indicates static energy or restrictions that you've had to move past. This is a ruin of um, energy loss or a cooling off period in order to focus. So pile two, you've really got to focus on the next step on your direction and the answers you seek will guide you to where you need to go. And there is great prosperity on the other side, okay? And finally, we have, interesting, pile one also got this ruin, okay? Um, and this is about limitations, upheavals, delays, and working through the shadow side to overcome any obstacles. This is about reaching the top of the mountain and, you know, any struggles that you've been going through, there is a payoff, okay? So I definitely feel you're turning any negatives into positives as we move through the solar eclipse. And success is assured for you. If you've got any ideas about setting up new businesses or, you know, any ideas uh, that come to you from left field, this indicates... Um, your guides are trying to point you in the right direction towards your abundance. So really pay close attention, okay? So that's all the messages I have for you, Pile 2. I hope something resonated there. Thank you so much, and love and light. Well, hello, beautiful Pile 3. Welcome to your reading. If you chose the star, this is the message for you. You may have been feeling in a bit of a routine and feeling a little bit stuck in a rut in some area of your life. 
you are definitely a hard worker who feels a lot of responsibility and that responsibility transcends into all areas of your life. You may have noticed that you're always the caregiver, always making sure everybody's okay. Uh, you're always uh, wanting to find solutions for other people. You help people to heal. You may also notice that people who um, tend to have been going through any difficulties gravitate towards your warmth your nurture and care you tend to be a person who tries to fix things for all people uh, that you care about of course so you are a very good friend but you take on a lot of responsibility and recently you may have been feeling that you're stuck in a routine or a repetitive cycle that you're finding it difficult to get out of. Uh, not just in terms of work, but you may have felt that your life is feeling pretty stagnant, that you used to uh, you know, have exciting times, fun with friends, but right now you're feeling a lot of responsibility on your shoulders. You're definitely practical um, and someone who has a sense of duty. Uh, you work really hard, but as we move throughout this solar eclipse, your guides are asking you to stream Streamline your energy to find a way to meet all the responsibilities that you feel you have to adhere to in this lifetime, but find some time for you, okay? You're definitely sort of elevating in your career. Uh, your hard work will pay off, but your guides are asking you, they're begging you to restructure the way that you work or the way that you're operating your life so that you have a little bit more time for enjoyment and also for romance if you have not found romance already, okay? Your first card here, is the sixth house <clears throat> excuse me I've been a little bit unwell so please be mindful if my voice um, gets lost a little bit please bear with me I do apologize uh, the sixth house there is the house of routine and you may feel like you're just getting up on a repetitive cycle uh, and doing your day-to-day -day. and whether that's a job or whether that's just you know uh, sitting and watching uh, the TV or whether it's uh, you looking for a job whatever this repetitive cycle is you're finding or trying to find a way out of it that's what this solar eclipse is going to help you with okay now the sixth house is all about changing the usual way of looking at things. How do you streamline your energy so that you can enjoy yourself a little bit more or have more time for you? This is a card that shows that you're very responsible and you work really hard towards your goals and you will accomplish them, okay? But perfectionism is important to watch out for because perfectionism doesn't necessarily lead to success. It can waste time. It can actually hinder your path and make you sort of second guess yourself. So be a little bit mindful of perfectionism, okay? This is a card um, that sort of shows up to pay attention to the details rather than the larger picture, okay? The larger picture cannot be developed without the minute details. So I feel like it's about you looking at the way that you work and seeing what works and what doesn't and sort of eradicating anything that has been hindering your, hindering your path or slowing you down, okay? Also, this is a card that reminds you to look at your health practices. So you're going to be embracing new diets, exercise routines, and finding yourself interested in uh, more spiritual practices like perhaps Reiki or acupuncture. Maybe uh, some of you are going to reach out to chiropractors or health um, sort of uh, technicians to help you enhance your experience as a human. Also, some of you may look at health supplements, herbs, and visit like health food stores in health in order to focus on that um, sixth house sort of placement because that uh, connects to Virgo energy, which is all about body, mind, and soul, and having the right tools and uh, the right approach to your health, okay? So also this card is a card of you sort of working really hard towards your goals in a repetitive cycle, that sustained effort. It will pay off. It will help you accomplish uh, what you set out to do. Um, but you're looking upon your uh, sort of goals and dreams right now and sort of asking yourself, is it worth it? Because this card really connects to the Seven of Pentacles. So you're looking at the effort that you're putting in and whether you're being rewarded financially for the um, effort that you're putting into your goals and your dreams. And if you're not, you're going to make some changes, some reshuffles over this sort of uh, solar eclipse to make things work in a more um, sort of benevolent way for you. 
this card also is a card of mapping your progress. Your future plans will lead to progress and success, but you must be strong in your body, mind, and soul as well. So it's about taking care of yourself. This card really asks you to stop and look after yourself. Self-care is necessary because you may have been burning the candle at both ends, or you may have been sort of focusing on one area of your life a little bit more than the other. You're needing balance at this time, okay? Um, that you you are infinitely connected to the universe, you will find structure and you will find success, but you need to find balance at this time. So if you've been focusing more on your work, as you can see, we've got the card of occupation there. Uh, we've got the earth, the practical, it's climbing the ladder card. We'll get to those cards in a moment, but I can see that your primary focus is on sort of accomplishing your goals and working really hard to achieve whatever it is you set out to do. But your guides over the solar eclipse are begging you to find balance, to go out and enjoy yourself, to connect to love or to connect to hobbies and things that you really enjoy doing so that you are more harmonious in all areas of your life. Because when we are out of kilter, or we're not completely in alignment, even if we work hard towards the things that we're trying to accomplish, sometimes they don't show up for us because we're not enjoying ourselves, or we feel like a sense of responsibility or duty all the time, and we feel like we're doing the right thing rather than enjoying ourselves and finding balance and fun, okay? It's important to have it all, if possible. Now, I know we're going through a difficult period in terms of humanity, and, you know, inflation's occurring, uh, price of living, is going up. So, you know, you may be thinking, Bubba, I can't go out and just enjoy myself and just spend money because it's so difficult right now out there. And I totally get it. I totally understand. But remember, connecting to friends that you haven't seen for a while is important. Getting out there and, you know, putting yourself out there to find love is also important. Finding love is also a, an act of self-care as well. You know, connecting to family, uh, friends, you know, all of that, having fun. Fun doesn't have to cost you anything. So it's important to remember that as well. But it's about finding balance, even kicking back and watching a movie that you really love or, you know, something that you've uh, missed from your childhood, a movie that perhaps you haven't seen for a while, really sort of helps raise the feels rather than feeling like you're just on a sort of repetitive cycle or you're like a hamster in a wheel, just, you know, making sure that everything is accomplished, spinning all those plates your guides are asking you to find that balance now of course with this card in particular climb the spiritual ladder one step at a time not only are you sort of accomplishing things in your life and you're sort of going up the ladder one step at a time you will be very successful also your guides are asking you to think spiritually as we move throughout the solar eclipse getting connected to your guides, using your innate wisdom. We've got that owl energy there. Uh, use that innate wisdom to accomplish whatever it is you set out to. Also, there's an energy, uh, well, they show me an ego as well. So perhaps um, my guides are indicating that I've misconstrued this and that it's actually an eagle rather than an owl, okay? But I'm feeling owl energy and they're giving me eagle energy. So this is about keeping your eye on the prize and using your innate gifts and wisdom to accomplish and staircase. But also they want to connect to you at this time as well, okay? So as I said, some of you may be reaching out, developing your spiritual gifts. Uh, some of you may be reaching out to practitioners who um, do things like Reiki or yoga in order to uh, really sort of connect to your guides and have a bit more of a spiritual uh, experience over this uh, solar eclipse. Some of you may be having like um, meditative baths and gong baths and things like that in order to really come back to your center. Uh, but this card indicates any difficulties you've been going through, you will Will overcome them you will find a solution okay now <clears throat> excuse me next card they want me to focus on here is your dreams now you're someone who's been very very focused on those dreams and those goals and you will accomplish uh, whatever it is you set out to do whenever you get this card this is a card that reminds you that also you are a healer okay because this is Isis the giver of life and divine magic and she's depicted here uh, in like a moonlit river 
Uh, so you're very intuitive. M the moon energy tends to um, sort of really have an effect on you. But you also have very strong, powerful um, energies of healing. So people may naturally gravitate towards you during difficult periods so that you can help them. But remember that you also need to heal yourself, beautiful pile three, okay? So some of you may have actually gone through a difficult period when it comes to love and you may have been heartbroken in the past and you launch yourself into your goals and your dreams as a result. You may have thought to yourself, I don't want love. I don't want to focus on love. Love hurts. So I'm going to distance myself from that and I'm going to focus on accomplishment. They're showing me the number uh, 1441 right now and they're also showing me 444. These are numbers that are going to help you recognize that your path is changing for the better, that there is a lot more um, sort of abundance headed towards you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Also, as you can see, um, Isis is holding roses here. So they're indicating to love yourself, but also to open yourself up to romance. So if you have gone through a difficult period when it comes to love, and you may have used um, your career, or you may have used hobbies, or um, some area of your life to sort of move away from love and sort of focus your attention or direct your attention elsewhere, um, now is the time to embrace love. Over the solar eclipse, I feel like you are going to be taken by romance. I feel like you're going to look at life in a more romantic way. You're going to actually start opening up your imagination to find ways to bring more sort of... Um, romance into your life. Even if you're in a romantic relationship or in a relationship at the moment, you're going to be overtaken by romance and you're going to take your attention off work for a little while in order to um, feel, you know, connected to love and that oneness of the universe, okay? Uh, with this card also, um, especially during modern times, we have seen the decline of sacred values and traditions and spiritual beliefs. And because you've got this card, this indicates you are someone who has has strong morals and strong beliefs and you'll be connecting to those um, things at this time okay so I feel like you're connecting to your sacred values any traditions that you've got you'll be opening yourself up to those areas and you will be embracing those um, and celebrating those as we move throughout this time period now you may have been going through some challenges or you may be looking at external forces that are beyond our control, like things like governments or the world, humanity, um, things that are happening in different countries. You are the sort of person who absorbs that energy, okay? So be mindful about the things that you watch or read because you absorb that energy. Now, you are someone who um, is uh, very, uh, you have a lot of empathy, uh, so be mindful of your energy. Make sure you protect it, especially during this period. Um, get yourself maybe um, a black obsidian or a black tourmaline to sort of guard against any negative energies or absorbing too much negative energy because you tend to absorb a lot of energy around you and they want you to just protect your wonderful self, okay? But um, this card is a card to indulge in your dreams and your goals. Allow yourself to visualize. It's so important Thoughts become things, okay? But if you're always squirreling away or always working away really hard, spinning loads of plates, um, you know, and trying to accomplish whatever it is you set out to do, you don't give yourself time to manifest. Your guides are asking you over this solar eclipse, find time to manifest your goals and dreams. Because even by visualizing what you truly want to accomplish, you are going to help it show up for you in the physical plane, in reality, much quicker than if you're just burying your head and work, 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 okay? So your guides want you to find balance. Also, this is a very important card. The world needs dreamers, but the world also needs doers. And you have to find that balance, okay? Because right now, I see that you are a doer, okay? You're someone who works really hard. You're a doer, but you need to remember to allow that part of yourself to dream, to be bold and allow your um, sort of dreams to really have value. Because sometimes you may dismiss your dreams or your goals and say, oh, you know what? Um, that's not something that can become a reality. So I'm just going to dis dismiss this. But over the solar eclipse, there's going to be some magic sort of injected into your dreams and your thoughts are actually going to become a reality. So if you felt like love is not going to show up for you, you're wrong. It's going to show up for you. There's romance headed your way. If you feel like something you've been working really hard 
towards, there's no breakthrough, you're wrong. You are on the right path and there is going to be a payoff. You are going to accomplish whatever it is you set out to. You are working towards something that will that has value and will bring abundance, okay? Um, now, they are showing me that you are someone who is very practical and very stable, but with that maze card, you may have been asking yourself, what am I working for? You may have been um, trying to multiply your finances and found it has been very difficult. For some of you, may, you may have lost your way or felt very confused on your path. Uh, this is the maze, and it says use logic when navigating this situation. So you may have some conundrums or some question marks over your life in some areas like why is love not shown up for me or why is it that when my business is working really well love is not working well for me why can't I, why can i not have it all the answer is you can have it all okay it's based on the choices that you're making at this time and i feel like you will solve or a piece of the puzzle will actually come to you where there is a new beginning okay it's number 37 when you reduce it 3 plus 7 is 10 which is the um, number of endings bringing new beginnings so I feel like a new path is opening up to you. And for some of you, especially with the sixth house of routine and this card, it may indicate that you have a change in direction of your career, but it's beneficial to you because it actually gives you more time for you and your guides want you to have more time for you, okay? So this, even if you're not leaving a job or a position, it may be about you restructuring the way that you lead your life at this moment in order to find more enjoyment or more excitement, more fulfillment energy you're going to be more inspired life is about to get more interesting for you okay now also we've got the earth card which is about practical stable and grounded a steady foundation supports fertility and growth financially there is a more there is more money coming towards you okay um, bunny rabbits tend to be about multiplying wealth um, and building a solid foundation that will multiply your success. You are headed in the right direction. So if you've been asking if you're on the right path, the answer is yes. But your guides want you to enjoy um, the fruits of your labor as well as you know work really hard, okay? The Earth uh, card indicates that perhaps you've been feeling the shift externally of you know things around the world um inflation all of that you may feel there's major changes and you've been working really hard to safeguard everything you've been working for and protect everything that you have been uh, working hard to achieve and you may feel like it's never ending you may feel like there's never a moment to yourself um, but your guides are asking you to find time for yourself because if you don't find a way you will find an excuse and they want you to be aware that you're very close to burnout pile three so they can see that you're exhausted you've even got the occupation card i mean i shuffled these decks independently and all the cards popped out for you okay and each card tells me that you're working super hard that you are not giving yourself a proper rest the occupation card indicates, you know, you've been even burning the candle at both ends or you've been uh, working overtime. Um, it's number 34, which indicates that you will be moving forward shortly. There is accomplishment, but the um, occupation card indicates that um, you are deeply absorbed in your work right now and you're not really seeing anything else or you're not really focusing on anything else. And your guide is asking you to um, make some time for you to enjoy life because life is passing you by, okay? Also, this card indicates you're very skilled at what you do, okay? You have natural talents and um, you may not have a job that like pays uh, really well, but you are sort of headed in the right direction and you will sort of staircase. I see you at some point in your future changing your job to something that brings in more money, okay? This card represents uh, self-employment or freelancing, uh, DIY work or piecing things together, getting like bits of the puzzle to help you move forward on your path. Together, you're going to create something wonderful, something really successful, okay? But your guides are asking you to find a hobby or something that you sort of really enjoy, whether it's a sport or a craft or a, a vocation um, where you feel your heart and soul is into it and um, that it's not always work, 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 work. They want you to have fun as well. Now, with this um, card as well, you tend to be the sort of person 
who always fixes things or feels a sense of duty or responsibility to help people fix things. Okay, uh, as you can see, she's mending there. So you are the sort of person who is the glue to family units or if there's anything going wrong in a friendship or a relationship, you're the first person who tries to save things, tries to work on things. But your guides are asking you to um, stand back and allow people to come to you to fix things. Allow people to show you that they respect you and that they care about you. By stepping back, you'll be able to see who is your friend and who's got your back and who has not. During difficult times, um, allow yourself to stand back and see who comes forward to um, support you. They want you to be aware of that. You don't always have to be the person who is trying to fix things for people. You don't always have to be the person who feels all that responsibility on your shoulders to make things work. Sometimes you can step back, allow the universe to help, but also you can step back and allow other people in your life to take over or to help you and support you or show their loyal divine support, okay? So they just want you to be aware that you don't always have to do it alone. You have got people there who can support you, allow them to. Even if you feel like they won't, by stepping back, you actually force them to come forward, to reevaluate and to show you that you mean something to them. They will do if you make sure you step back, okay? You don't always have to be the person running to them to help them out. Um, now, also, um, you may have felt that it's been a real slog in your career. Uh, we've got the journey card there as well for you. Um, you may have felt uh, that you've been working really hard and it's just a repetitive cycle. You may feel that things need to change. Now, it's number 10, which indicates that there is divine change in your career. Um, but it can also be divine change in your life. And it's positive. Number 10 is the Wheel of Fortune energy. So I feel like you're releasing any baggage that is not necessary in your life. And some people see this card as someone who's about to depart or about to sort of, um, you know, take a chance or an opportunity and lead somewhere. I actually see this as you arriving at the place that you need to be or at the place that you want to be. So I see a turn of events happening in your favor where you're arriving at success, where you're arriving at financial accomplishment, where you're arriving at making your mark in some area of your life. Also, in terms of love, I feel like um, you have gone on a real journey and I feel like you have had difficult experiences and a lot of pro uh, sort of baggage that you will be processing over this um, solar eclipse and it makes way for new energy, okay? I see a relationship for you in the near future if you have not got one. I see, I, I see a partnership that is a divine union, a soulmate energy. It is loving, it is caring and you both take the journey of life together. Uh, both of you have had similar experiences, so you understand each other and you don't take each other for granted. It's a very passionate, loving relationship that has a lot of romance, okay? Now, this may be someone who works in the same industry as you. So this is something to be very mindful of because if they work in the same industry as you, again, you're going to be talking about work or that industry that you sort of work in. So your guides are asking you to find that balance, okay? Uh, also with this journey card, it's an indication that some of you may be planning a, a quick trip or you may have to travel um, regarding either work or something personal. Uh, definitely an indication that you need a break, okay? They want you to be aware it's time for a break. Also, when you get this image, um, it's an image to sort of like indicate that you're departing for better shores, okay? There's better things to come for you uh, because number 10 indicates uh, more benevolent energy, a lot more success, a real turnaround of events. I mean, some of you may actually literally be going on a train journey, okay? But I feel like this is about a journey of discovery. Uh, also, we've got the lover's card. So that really indicates making more time for work. You may have been someone who has had toxic relationships in the past or relationships that have been bad for you or you've gravitated towards people who need fixing. But over this time period, you're going to release those patterns and anything that's been hindering you. If you feel um, that you've been trying to build healthier boundaries, they will hold you in good stead as you're attracting new love, okay? Um, if you're already in a relationship, I feel like you and th you, this person are actually coming a little bit more into balance. You're working on the things that have been sort of... Um, a little bit out of balance or out of alignment in the relationship and there is peace. Those two doves, they represent peace 
And I definitely feel this energy with the lover's card of a profound loyalty that is between you both, a trust, okay? Now, this doesn't always have to be about love. It can be about friendships, people showing them their faithfulness to you or their love for you, their support for you. And I definitely feel over the next four to five weeks, you're going to see that, how people appreciate you, okay? Also, this um, uh, card indicates uh, when it comes to your work that you must sort of inject your heart and your mind to have, find harmony in your work. So if you're working in an environment that you feel your heart really is not in it and you're feeling you've hit a glass ceiling or it's a repetitive cycle, then it's time to make changes and there are infinite possibilities for you to change. And I feel like you'll make the right decisions that are meant for you and you will e elevate because of it. But also, more importantly, you'll be very proud of yourself and you will, it's almost like I see your heart sawing with joy, with pride, okay? Um, now, if you are looking for love, there's definitely an indication that you will meet new love. Now, this could be on a trip that you take, or, but I feel like this person is connected to your work in some way or works within the same industry. It may not mean that you're working with that person, but it can mean that they have experience of working in an arena that you already work in, or if you're retired in an arena that you used to work in, okay? Uh, this is a, a relationship that does bring a lot of respect. I see union here um, with this card, but I also see you being respected within your friendships, and I see you being respected within your working environment as well. They're actually giving me, in terms of your work, they give me a golden handshake. So a uh, golden handshake, I'm not really sure what that means. So some of you may be leaving your work environment to go to pastures new, or some of you may be retiring or retired. Um, but I see, um, I see the next part of your journey, if you're moving into a new arena at work, I see it being a golden opportunity and being welcome to a new firm or setting up your own business and being respected by others for the skills that you have. It's number 40 when you reduce it, four plus zero is the emperor energy. So this is all about success. It's about your plans working. It's about you strategizing and protecting your interests, protecting your goals, your dreams, and not giving up. Um, but I definitely get this energy of people around you showing their appreciation. Um, but more than anything from this card, I get this energy of allowing people to show you that they care about you, that you don't always have to be the person who feels responsible, the person who always has to help others, because you're the person who sort of runs to people in, in their hour of need. You're a really good friend. And whilst that's wonderful, I feel like it's important that you realize that there are people there for you as well. You don't always have to do everything all by yourself, okay? Now, we have the Infinity card. This is a symbol that you're going to see over the next four to five weeks. It even came up in one of the readings um, recently, so it may have even been for your sign. But it's number 18, and 18 is the moon energy. During uncertain times, I feel like you're being asked to be flexible, especially if you've got a way of working or a way of doing things and you're in a routine. Your guides are asking to shake it up as we move through the um, solar eclipse. The infinity card is an indication that you are a gift, but also that the gift of abundance and energy is being gifted to you over the next four to five weeks to accomplish whatever it is that you set out to do. You're being given a limitless supply of life-changing energy in whatever way, shape, or form you require, okay? So get clear on what it is you want. If there's some area of your life you feel is lacking, ask for that area to be more fulfilled. If you're feeling that things are not going in the direction you're headed, you are hoping for, um, then ask your guides for a sign and they will show you a sign. It's going to be the infinity sign, so watch out for that. I mean, it could be that you see a person walking down the street with an infinity tattoo or you've got an infinity tattoo or you connect to um, a product that has a logo that has the infinity uh, sign there. So watch out for that. Also, I mean, the infinity sign in this sort of um, upright form looks like an eight, which means the number of the self. So I feel like you are getting new ideas and that will improve your life purpose, but also improve your life path, okay? This is a card that indicates an infinite amount of abundance, happiness, 
joy is headed your way, including health, okay? So if some of you have been struggling with your health or you've just been feeling a little bit stuck in a rut, know that you're going to break a cycle and there's a lot more enjoyment headed towards you. Um, this card also represents new beginnings or new sort of encounters and connections between people who will enhance your life experience. So watch out for new people. This is a card to reaffirm that anything is possible. You have infinite possibilities to change your life and improve it for the better. Better, okay and those changes are coming towards you now also we've got the romance card well pile three the majority energy I'm picking up from this pile is that you've been working so hard and you've been focusing on your goals and dreams that there's been no time for romance no time for love so I feel like this is something that um, this affirmation will help you attract romance if you're looking for it or help deepen your connection with your person if you've been going through any difficulties because it's number 23 and when you reduce it two plus three is five which is the number of difficulty or obstacles so this is the affirmation to uh, say during moments of difficulties regarding romance it says romance it is a sacred power let it come to me this hour this is a spell card, so this is here to help you sort of um, give an affirmation out to the universe and bring in divine romance, divine union, and anything um, that you've been trying to attract at this time. This is also an indication that romance is headed your way. So if you're looking for it, or even if you're in a relationship with somebody, there's going to be a lot more romance um, in that relationship, a lot more appreciation being given, um, and a lot more of a deeper connection between you and your person. And if you're looking for love, uh, over the solar eclipse and four to five weeks afterwards, this is a prime time for you to meet um, a divine counterpart, a soulmate energy. You will overcome all the difficulties you've been experiencing in love, okay? The solar eclipse is helping you to enjoy your experience when it comes to rom romance and to find balance in all areas of your life, okay? There is going to be money that is attracted to you. There is more finances coming on in, but your guides in this particular time period is asking you more to find that balance, to find more time for you, to release the sense of responsibility so that you can actually enjoy more you time, to find harmony and to find more fun in the day to day because it looks like you've got stuck in a bit of a rut. Even if you're opening yourself up to, um, you know, a hobby or wanting to learn new skills, new talents, um, you're actually connecting to new people and new experiences and your guides are really encouraging that at this time. I'm going to give some final cards, um, any more blessings that your guides want you to be aware of during this period. Thank you so much for guys, great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful pile three? What else do they need to be aware of as we move through the solar eclipse? We've got the king of wands. You're someone who's very passionate, but as I said, there's going to be a lot more passion entering the mix for you. We'll get to that card in a moment. We've also got the Six of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Okay, so the Moon card represents uncertainty, um, fears, um, obstacles, but it's important. As I said, I feel like I said the Moon actually helps govern you. Uh, you are someone who um, is very, very sensitive. You have a strong sense of responsibility. The Moon energy um, has a profound effect over you. It makes you a little bit more sensitive than usual, but um, there's also um, a, a Moon eclipse that is occurring that will be very strong for you and will show you some really good news, something you've been trying to accomplish, whether it is um, you know, more friendships, whether it is uh, deeper lasting loyal friendships or relationships or uh, job security or job opportunities, whatever it is you've been manifesting, you're going to be shown it by the 6th to the 8th of November in particular, okay? Also, the moon indicates you are very intuitive and you may have felt that you've been disconnected from your intuition recently. Um, because you've been focusing so hard on your goals or you've been so exhausted from work and feeling unmotivated. With the moon card, this is your connection. Your guides are going to show you omens and signs, in particular the infinity sign, um, that things are going to get better for you. Also, the moon energy indicates a, a hidden opportunity that is um, coming your way. You're going to be really surprised. There's a sudden sort of element of magic or good luck that is headed your way. 
Also with the Moon card, we have the Six of Cups. There's someone here that you know, um, someone, now this could be someone from your past, but it's someone you know who's harboring hidden feelings for you, okay? Six of Cups indicates um, a reunion energy. So there's someone here who wants to tell you how they feel. They have deep rooted feelings for you. Now this could be an ex, doesn't have to be. It can be someone, um, a friend that you haven't seen for a while, or it can be someone you used to work with that you haven't seen for a while. This person is going to reach out to you and tell you that they have feelings for you, okay? So Six of Cups indicates you're going to um, really connect to someone. Um, now, I feel like this is someone that perhaps you've walked away from in the past or they walked away from you with that Eight of Cups. I feel like they try to return to your life. Uh, it's your call. We all have free will, whether you want to have that person in your life again. But I feel like they have regrets of letting you go. And they're going to try and win you back. And this time, they really mean it. They want to be in your life. But, you know, you get to say whether they get a piece of your life or they get to walk on the same path as you because of the experiences from um, the past with this person. So that's your call. But that Six of Cups indicates someone from your past is going to reach out. Also, the Six of Cups indicates um, during the solar eclipse, you may feel a little bit more um, sort of nostalgic than usual. And you may be thinking about the good old days, things when they were a little bit more fun, where you felt a little bit more wild and free. You're going to be embracing those times again, okay? But your guides, as I said, are asking you, begging you to find that balance in your life, okay? Uh, also, we've got the Eight of Cups, which is you being on a real journey of discovery. So you may have been um, sort of focusing on your career path and trying to avoid areas of um, love and things like that, but actually you have been spiritually evolving. And the Eight of Cups indicates you're being more discerning about the energy you give out. You're withdrawing from anything that no longer serves you. You're releasing it and you're moving on. You're abandoning the past that was difficult and you're embracing a bright new future. Also, the Eight of Cups is an indication that uh, you may have to decide sometimes between love and uh, you know your dreams or your goals. You may have found that the Eight of Cups is like um, a decision point where you're like, okay, I need love in my life, but at the same time, I need to focus on my dreams. Or you got heartbroken by somebody and then you focus on work instead, but you do long for love at the same time. So you may have walked a path where you felt you had to choose between love and your goals. You won't have to choose anymore. There's an indication here of you having it all, especially since we've got the King of Wands energy here, okay? So if your life has always been about responsibility and um, you know working really hard, this is about taking charge and moving forward and accomplishing more time for you. You are an influencer, okay? So I definitely see you influencing your business and your career opportunities and you leveling up into positions of responsibility and changing things for the better. But this is a card of spiritual influence, okay? So I feel like your guides are inspiring you to take charge and lead your life and not let it lead you, okay? So I definitely get this energy of more passion coming into your life, um, you sort of like um, bringing more abundance, there's going to be a lot more energy, more flow, and I feel like you are going to um, surprise yourself with all the wonderful good things that are headed your way. This is also a card of confidence, regaining your confidence in love and opening yourself up to the great magical love story that you're always meant to have experienced but have not experienced to date, okay? So good things are coming for you, but remember, you are in control of finding balance in your career, balance in your life balance in love relationships and friendships, okay? It's important to take some time for you, whether that's to read a book, connect to art, painting, getting out there, going for a drink with friends, connecting to people you haven't seen for a while, embarking on new hobbies. It's important for you to inject new energy into your day-to-day -day as you move through this solar eclipse. Your guides are asking for that, okay? So finally, okay, so... First rune we have here is giant, okay? This is the rune of protection, um, but it's in the reverse position. So it can mean that you are stubborn, my beautiful pile three, and that's not me pointing at fingers at you. Um, that's just the meaning of the rune, but also it can indicate that you've buried your head in routine for too long, and it's an indication that you need to take advice, 
okay? Um, sometimes you may be too stubborn to take advice and it leads you down a dead end. So they're indicating it's time to take advice from your guides and find the balance that you actually desire. You've been, th you've been uh, yearning for it, okay? Now also we have a very important rune and this is all about ambition. Okay, uh, this is seizing the day and you are someone who tends to seize the day. So this is a breakthrough in your career. It leads to a lot of growth, but it also helps you find more time for you. So celebrate your wins, but allow yourself time to revel in them and enjoy yourself. Okay, so whatever ambitiously you're sort of moving towards, you will be successful. And finally, where is it? Here it is. Okay, uh, we have the emotion ruin. This connects to water. So someone who's very, very sensitive, that's you. Um, and this is about your dreams becoming a reality. It's also a card of using your intuition to get to where you want to go. You're very talented, you're very driven, and you're very gifted at what you do. So pay close attention to your dreams, your visions, but also remember some me time because this car, this ruin can be connected to self-reflection and time for you, uh, time for um, self-care, okay? So it's very important that that's shown up as well for you. So I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in that reading for you. Thank you so much and love and light.